Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to populate a recycler view in Android with data from an array list. So if you want to just create a project and come to your first resource file that you're going to be using, so your first layout, you want to just add a recycler view. Now pretty much everything we need in our main activity is the recycler view. So the next thing we're going to do is create a resource file for the list items. Now we'll just call this list items. Now this XML uh, class is only going to be used to show the name of a user. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it wrap content. And we're just going to add two text views in here as well. So. Now this first text view is just going to say uh, username. And the second one we're going to leave blank. Now we'll just put some constraints in here as well. So we'll just do 20 all around. And we'll do the same for the other one. So now we have our two layout file sons, so we can actually move on to the Java. So if we come back up here, we're going to add a new class. We're going to call this user. And we're just going to give this a private string called username. Now so we're just going to auto insert some getters and setters and a constructor as well. So if you just hit Alt and Insert, you can select a constructor. I will just do that. I will do the same for some getters and setters. Now, so that's the user class complete. The next thing that we want to do is create an adapter for our recycler view. So let's create another class here. And we'll call this recycler adapter. So our adapter needs to extend a uh, recycler view dot adapter and then we need to put the name of our adapter in here and say dot my view holder. Now if you just click here at uh, a little red light bulb should pop up here and we can implement the methods that we need. So if we click this and click OK, now we have all the methods that we need to override in this class to make it work. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to make a private array list. And this is going to be of type user, the user class that we made. And we'll just call this users list. Now, so let's just make a constructor. So it's a public recycler adapter. And it's going to take in an array list of type user. And we'll just call this user list, users list as well. Now, so this dot users list is equal to users list. So this is basically saying that when we want to create an instance of our recycler adapter, we need to pass it a list of users. So the next thing that we have to do is add a new class inside this. And this is called my view holder. And once again, it needs to extend recycler view dot view holder. Now inside this class we're going to uh, find our items that we made in the list items thing. So we're going to find our text box here. So we come back and say private text view and we'll just call this name text. 
Now so we can make it a constructor here. And this takes in a final view, and we'll just call that view. So the first thing that we want to do in our constructor is call the superclass. And we're just going to pass that the view. Now we can actually find our text view here. So we can say name text is equal to view dot find by ID. And it's going to be r dot ID. And we'll just check what we called it here. So it's text view four is the one we're looking for. So we'll say text view four. Now we're finished our my view holder class. We can move on to the on create view method here. So in this method, we need to actually inflate our view. So to do that, we want to create a view and we'll just call this item view. And we'll equal this to layout inflator. And we'll say dot from, and we need to get the context of the parent class here. So we'll say parent dot get context. Now we can say dot inflate, and we're looking for our list items XML class now. So we can say r dot layout dot list items and we're going to pass this parent and we're just going to say false now so we just need to return this result so we'll just say return new my view holder and we'll just say item view so now that we have uh, our on create sorted we can move on down to the on bind view holder so in here we can actually change the text um, of our text view so what we can do is we can find the position in the array uh, of a user and we can get their name so we're gonna say string name is equal to users list dot get we'll say position and then we want to say get username. So now we have the user's name stored in this string here. So we can say holder dot name text dot set text. And we're just going to pass this the string we just made. Um, one other thing to change in our adapter here is just to make the get item count return the length of the array list instead of zero. Uh, users list dot size. So now that that's finished, guys, we can actually move back to our main activity here. And what we need to do is we want to add an array list of users in here as well. So we'll say private array list of type user. Once again, we'll just call this users list. And um, we'll just initialize that here. Now, so I'm just going to make a method called set user info. So this is just going to put uh, random information into the array list, but you could be getting it from a uh, call to a REST API, or you could just have this stored somewhere else. So I'm just going to create a method here. And I'm just going to hard code some values in. So I'm going to say users list dot add new user. And we'll just call this guy John. Now, so I'm just going to do this two or three times. And we'll just give him some different names. Now, so the next thing that I want to do is I want to create another method that sets the adapter for our recycler view so we'll just call this set adapter once again if we click the light bulb and hit create method now so in this method we want to create an instance of our recycler adapter 
So we'll just call this adapter. I'm going to equal that to a new recycler adapter. And we're just going to pass in our users list. Now we should, we should also just um, create our recycler view here as well. So we're going to say private recycler view. We'll just call it recycler view. And we need to just find that in the main as well. So we'll say recycler view. is equal to find view by ID and r dot id dot we just need to give it a, a name as well so we're going to come back here click our recycler view and give it an ID so we'll just call it recycler view now so if we come back to our adapter method here there's three things that we need to set for our recycler view. So they are the layout manager, the item animator, and the adapter. So the first thing we're gonna do is create um, a layout manager. So we're gonna say recycler view with a capital R here, guys. And we're gonna say dot layout manager. And we're gonna say layout manager is equal to new. And we want to say linear layout manager. And we're just going to pass this to context. So we're going to say get application context. Now, so let's just set our recycler views layout manager here. So, so recycler view dot set layout manager. And let's just pass it our manager. Now we can set our animator here as well, guys. So we're going to say recycler view dot set item animator. And what we can just pass in an instance of a default uh, item animator here. And the last thing to do is to set our adapter. So we're going to say recycler view dot set adapter, and we're going to pass in our adapter that we made. Now, so that's pretty much everything, guys. So we're just going to quickly run this to make sure that it's working fine. So guys, as you can see, uh, we got the username and John, Bob and Alice. So these are three of the different uh, list items. So they're all in the recycler view now. So if you added more names, it would populate the full recycler view and it'll actually become scrollable as well. So that's pretty much the end of the tutorial anyway, guys. Uh, I hope that you're able to set up your own recycler views and stuff. And if you have any questions or anything like that, just leave them down in the comments. Thanks for watching.